Yes, the tier two, tier three cities is where we are also banking upon. Uh, plus the rural market, the rural housing market, I should say. So as far as our growth is concerned, if I talk about ICICI or uh, out of the total portfolio of around 1,000, 1,000 plus crores of funding which we do on a month on month basis, uh, we do more than 40 percent of funding from tier two and tier three cities. Okay, so uh, uh, which which shows that that there's a lot of scope of growth, but and still our uh, poor kind of percentage in the overall portfolio in the market would be pretty low. Okay, so 40% 40, 40 of ICSA and still being low in that particular market, there's a huge scope of growth of financing still to be happening in that particular cities. So if the cash component reduces, as Shobhid was telling, uh, financing would increase, uh, transparency would increase, and uh, as he was rightly saying, a lot of bigger builders would actually come in. But we would, would like to join hands with developers here. We would like to make them pay. Okay, we have joined hands with a lot of local builders in Ahmedabad, in in, in uh, Baroda, in Nagpur, where we have funded them construction funding. Okay, and now uh, that we have done it five, six years back. Okay, now we have seen them. Uh, we started with around three, four, five crores. Now we fund the same with the 50 crores. Okay, so uh, there's a lot of change which is happening in the city, and we want to be part of the growth story. And I'm very optimistic. Uh, from a banker's angle and from a financial angle, I see a lot of growth happening in these cities. Still, when the overall country, like cities like Bombay or Bangalore or for that matter Chennai or Hyderabad might have their own set of problems, but these cities here, uh, like Surat, uh, has their own potential. Uh, one thing which I would like to share here is that, uh, Shok, uh, I think Shobit just touched upon it, that this market is driven by not just by the people who are based on the cities. This market is driven by people who are living around those cities. 30 kilometers, 50 kilometers, 60 kilometers away from the cities who want their children to come to these cities to have their better education. What he was given example of NCR, that is absolutely true for cities like Surat, for cities like Rajkot, for cities like Baroda. And especially being in Gujarat, spread of money is across the state. It's not just limited to few cities of the state. So when the spread of money in terms of agriculture is spread across the state, this money is actually going to come to these five or six cities in Gujarat in form of real estate. You will not have decent projects coming up and uh, tier 4, tier 5 cities. You will have only decent budgets coming up in these 4 or 5 cities of Gujarat. So there is a lot of potential for the builders to tap in those money. Unfortunately, again, it's cash money because of agriculture. So uh, I don't know how you will be able to work that out. But still, the money is flowing, will continue to flow in the next 4 or 5 years. And uh, we will be part of uh, that growth. And I'm sure that I'm, as I said again, I'm pretty optimistic that uh, the overall real estate growth of Gujarat at least will continue at the scale which is continuing now.